Hi, I'm Dr. Wendy Wagner, and coming off the last video about abnormal patch, I'm going to talk about colposcopy. So, what a colposcopy is, is uh, looking more closely at the cervix under magnification with a colposcope, um, and we'll look at the colposcope in a minute. And taking biopsies of the cervix and making sure that there's not anything worse going on than what showed in your pap smear. Pap smear is a screening test, just kind of blindly taking cells from the surface of the cervix, where a colposcopy is making a determination of exactly what's going on in the tissue. Okay, so there's a couple things that we'll talk about. Uh, one is exactly how, to, how we do the colposcopy, so they're not surprised by what's going on, and the other thing is what the possible outcomes are. So coposcopes look a number of different ways, however, they all have a similar way of working. Basically, it's just magnification. Um, the speculum is put into the cervix. Uh, the cervix is wiped off with acetic acid, which is vinegar. So uh, what happens is the abnormal parts of the, of the abnormal cells or the abnormal areas turn what we call acetyl-white, which is, which is white, and we can see that. So the doctor will look through here, um, put the acetic acid on, and just take a look at the entire surface of the cervix. Sometimes we use uh, what we call the green filter to look for abnormal uh, vessels, but basically nothing scary, it's just a, a magnification scope. So while we're looking at the cervix through the scope, um, the surface of the cervix kind of looks like this. Uh, this is the outside, this is the opening of the cervix, which we call the os, and there's something here that we call a transformation zone, and this is where the majority of the abnormal cells occur because of the, the cell turnover at this point. Um, the colposcopy is adequate if we can see this entire transformation zone. Sometimes there are abnormal areas that are white, and in that case, we take biopsies of those areas. Now, biopsies can sound like a scary word. There's actually not a whole lot of nerve endings in the surface of the cervix, so you can feel a little pinch with the biopsy, but it's honestly uh, not painful. The biopsy forceps that we use have a little tiny end with a little tooth, and we take a little bit of the cervix and then stop the bleeding, um, if there is any bleeding. Um, so those, most physicians will take one or two biopsies of the cervix, whether or not they see any abnormal areas. So if you get biopsies done, it doesn't necessarily mean that we see an abnormal area. Um, the other thing that we do is something called an ECC, or an endocervical keratage. So in the os, where we can't see that area, we take some cells for that, from that area. Um, everything gets put in a jar and sent to pathology. Um, that can be a little crampy when it's done, but again, pretty minimal. If you can be relaxed and kind of know what's going on ahead of time, it's a fairly short procedure and it's minimally painful. So, the other thing that you should know about the results of the colposcopy is that you're going to get a tissue pathology result and not a pap smear result. So instead of the low grade, high grade differentiation, we have CIN1, CIN2, and CIN3, okay? So this is just like the low grade and high grade, it goes from less abnormal to more abnormal. CIN1, we don't really worry about. It's a low grade abnormality. We'll probably repeat the pap smear. These are what we're more concerned about. These are high grade, higher grade abnormalities. This is where you have a discussion about your physician, with your physician about what to do about this. If you're a young, healthy person and you have CIN2, CIN it may be worth following it, seeing whether it regresses. These CIN one, two, three abnormalities, if you just let them go, again, it would take many years for them to progress to cancer, but uh, they do need to be taken care of and followed. None of these are cancer. None of these are quote unquote pre-cancer. They're just the kind of thing that may possibly progress to that over years. CIN three, we usually do um, a surgery like a leap, which we'll talk about in the next video, to get those abnormal cells to basically remove the transformation zone and hopefully remove any abnormal cells so that the rest of the tissue can grow back normally. So this is the most concerning. You can also get a, um, a pre-invasive cancer um, on these uh, biopsies, but that's more unusual, certainly. So. You say CIN, CIN2, CIN3, these are colposcopic tissue biopsy um, results so that hopefully it's less confusing if you do get these results. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of a heads up what to expect from a colposcopy and it's a little bit less anxiety provoking.